Hey everybody and welcome back. We're in Saw 2, Flesh and Blood. When we left off, I died because uh, there was one more quick time event that I thought was gonna happen. And of course, when you fail a quick time event, you just fall to your death in this game. It's everywhere. You have to mash B. Oh, it's wonderful. But I got spawned back here at this bathroom, which put me next to this guy that I was supposed to say before. And I didn't do it in the episode. But then when I came back here after coming back to this checkpoint, I actually did save him in time. And he went through that door. Um, and he's sitting on the other side. Um, but I also wanted to uh, show you something weird. If you walk up against this couch, you can do that. Isn't that beautiful? It, it's. I'm not sure what the point of this mechanic is, but if you if you go on the corner, you can make Michael freak out. He waves his arms just like his father once did in his heyday. <laughs> oh, that's fun to look at. Well, we need to crawl back through this stupid hole press our triggers and then that guy will be inside of that room and I'm not sure why he's in there what we're gonna be talking to him about I'm sure it will be an interesting conversation considering that I did hear this tape before and this guy is a rapist apparently so I'm very prepared for this conversation you saved my life. yes how about I go listen how about I go play this Hey, Griff, you want to hear this about yourself? Do you not want me to hear this? Is this private? Oh, wow. Come on, Griff. Don't do that, Griff. Oh, that's creepy, Griff. Come on. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything to him after this, after hearing this information from Jigsaw. No, let's just leave him alone. We just go on about our day. He's probably gonna die anyways. What's What was the point in saving him? Unless it just gives me, it's giving me new access to whatever area I'm supposed to go to, it seems, but I'm not sure if this is an advantage. Oh, a puzzle piece, yeah. Those things are definitely worthwhile. Oh, is this that door that I, ah, I remember that door. It doesn't mean anything. Saving him means fucking nothing. So now I'm just gonna go through this stupid fight again. Oh man, I'm gonna hit all of my quick time events correctly this time because I cannot be bothered. Yeah, get up and let's do this again. Oh shit, I missed. And I'm gonna get smacked in the face. He's not very good at hitting me with a bat. You don't kinda, you don't do it with the butt end of the bat. Oh my god. Oh, my heart beat. <laughs> oh no, I hit B instead of X. I'm an idiot. Okay, B that time. And then why? He should be dead now. Just four punches killed somebody. It's okay, my EKG is back up. We're fine. Do I have... I don't have a health hypo, do I? No, I do not. Oh man, I'm gonna be breathing heavily. And my heart's gonna be beating. We're in a really bad situation. Oh yeah, here we go. With this stupid fucking thing. Okay, I got it this time. That's where we died before. Oh man, it broke off as soon as I climbed up. Who saw that shit coming? Oh, I love this flickering light bullshit and... Oh wait, is that... Is my health being low creating this effect? I guess. Well, I need a key. Hold on. I don't have a key. Okay. I didn't know if that icon showing me a key was indicating that I had one or that I needed to get one. It doesn't matter. Let's peek through this. Oh, great! <laughs> you know, I did not see that one coming. That is new to this game. Can I peek again? Oh, okay, so the gun is five, four, three, zero. All right, let's unlock this and see what prizes we have in store for not getting shot in the face. Jake saw I deserve a lot for that, come on. Uh, oh no, oh no, it's back. The fucking cog wheel puzzle. Oh God, somebody save me, please. Somebody come over here and bash my head and I can't take it anymore. I need a health hypo, seriously, give me one. Okay. Jesus Christ, I cannot stand that heartbeat shit anymore. Good lord. Why do games do that? I know that my health is low, okay? You don't need to be so fucking obnoxious about it. Is it just gonna be a puzzle piece behind this thing? It's gotta be. Uh, but for those who are new to my channel, or never saw Saw, Saw Saw, well, great. 
You just have to, uh, this is the one moving cogwheel, and you have to link up the ones that aren't moving to get to this other one and make it move. Fun. It should be easy, considering the fact that it's the f first one, but who knows? Yeah, it's, I just need to move this little one here, and then the big guy. Oh my god, this is the most obnoxious thing ever. But see, it's that simple. Oh, this was the key. Okay, well, at least it was something fucking useful. Is there gonna be another goddamn gun behind this door? Oh god, the numbers. The numbers are creepier than the gun. 6438. 6438. Okay. Like, why why is this even a thing? Why why is making those doors locked? <laughs> Why did Jigsaw go and spend his hard-earned fucking psychopath dollars on these locks when he just gives me the combination code behind the door? That's just what I want to know. I want to understand his logic because I don't understand it at all. Whatever, man. We got our stupid key. Oh, another fucking door we can peek through. 8120. Is this going to have anything behind it or just some other dead dude? Foreshadowing what might happen. Wait, hold on. What the fuck was the code? 8120, not 8420. I think that's what I put. Oh man, I have a short attention span. I am sorry. Oh, it's a weapon case. Oh no. We have to fly. Oh, you can actually manipulate the gears. Oh no. That one, I have to manipulate the gears inside the lock and not my actual camera. Okay, that is dumb. Oh, I can slow down time. Really? Really? Why? There's no fucking challenge in that if I can slow down time. Why? Why do you do this to me? Well, at least it's a nail bat, so that's worth something. Oh my god, I can't stay in this anymore. Let's go. To the exit that doesn't exist. It's all a joke to him. Alright, here we go with more plank walking. Now, I know that this is gonna involve the right and left triggers now instead of using my uh, my sticks to balance. Okay, so wait. Like I'm 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 not even kidding. I am pressing left trigger and right trigger when it shows up. Should I just Oh wait, do I have to hold them? Is that is that the deal? What kind of fucking sick game is this asshole playing? Cause I'm not into it. This shit, man. It's driving me nuts. He's doing a really good job at this. I'm really going to appreciate life after I kill him and get out of here. Oh my god. I need more quotes from him in the loading screens. Where the fuck are we? Okay, we have got... Alright, behind those other doors, it's just the nail bat. I don't give a shit about it. It's not gonna help me. It really doesn't matter. The combat in this game is a joke. So let's just go here and try to do this correctly this time. Hold on, nope, see it doesn't, that doesn't work. Holding it doesn't work either. His EKG is flatlined, congratulations, we know that. I don't expect him to fall down there and live. You think it's over, but the games have just begun. Wow, it's just a way to torture me even more. After I've died. I don't need this, man. I like how they quote him saying, I want to play a game. No, <laughs> like. Yeah, we really need you to quote that because it's not the most overused and famous saying in this stupid fucking franchise. Okay, this time I'm gonna figure out this balance beam. I have to, it's the only way I can progress. So, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It makes literally no sense. I'm gonna figure this out and I'll be with you guys shortly. All right, I have tried this too many times now. So I'm on my phone. And I'm gonna search saw two balance beam. And I'm gonna see what comes up because I can't fucking, balance beam is a very high result. My method of running the balance beams from xbox360achievements.org. Thank you very much. Somebody has an idea as to how this fucking works. Oh my, okay, I figured it out now. So, the person said that you are supposed to take a step then you have to make sure that Michael is still upright in his balance before you take the next step. So you actually do use the left stick, apparently. We're gonna try this out, so I just need to, okay, I need, yes, the left stick does balance me. 
So I need to get myself straight and then take the next step and oh, this is it. See, that's how you do it. They made it so complicated by fucking flashing the triggers that I thought that I should be consistently stepping in order to get across the beam. But no, you take it as slow as you possibly can to make sure that you are upright. So not only is it more annoying, but it's like 10 times as long as the first Saw game. And I hate my life. I really do. Let's search this fucking nightstand for nothing. For absolutely nothing. How about you? A nail. Great. I really needed one of those. I've been looking to do some woodwork. A case file. Where's that? I saw it and then I missed it. Ah, oh, Steven Singh. Wonderful. That guy. Got his head blown off by a shotgun. Wasn't that amazing? That was the, my favorite part in the movie. Just everybody dying is my favorite part. All right, let's pick this stupid fucking lock. Oh man, I'll never make it through. This is too much fucking pressure. Wow, and I missed, and I missed. I'm just gonna stop taunting the game because it's gonna make me fail. Oh shit, maybe I do need the slow-mo. Maybe I do. Let's just use the slow-mo when I come through here to make sure that I get up top. There we go. Wonderful. Oh, God. You know, after playing the first game, you would think that they couldn't possibly manage to make their mechanics for picking locks and doing puzzles any more fucking tedious and monotonous and just f plain fucking stupid. And they somehow find a way to do it. Those are lovely drapes, by the way. Purple's a nice color. I like it. Well, let's jump down into another bathroom, probably filled with glass everywhere on the floor. Let's make sure. No, there's no glass in here. Well, whenever I look, there's gonna be no glass, but anytime that I don't look, there's going to be glass. That's the way it's gonna be. My feet will suffer. Ah, we have done our objective, so. Oh, we have to locate the ballroom. I need a nail to get in that room, and I honestly don't care. Oh. He finally shows his face very early. Tinker is someone your father respected greatly until he found out the truth. What secrets are you ashamed to reveal? <laughs> oh, whoa. That was, uh... That guy had a bullseye behind his head. I hope I get involved with that game. That would be fun. Release some stress. Have to do some target practice. Oh, wow, a tape recorder. I can save my game. <laughs> they are so few and far between, but at least the checkpoint system is still there. See, that's what I was most afraid of, was that if I quit the game that the checkpoint system didn't actually exist as a save point. But they weren't that stupid, at least. I'm guessing that there's a nail in here. There's another case file. I don't care about Jennings Foster. I remember that guy. He died too, didn't he? <laughs> oh, oh yes. We found the toilets again. The toilets played a big role in the first game and I'm glad that they made their fucking return. Oh, and they have the pain meter and everything. Just look at the pain that he's going. Like, it doesn't matter. You just grab and you automatically get it. There's really no point in doing this whole thing here. It really makes no difference. But I ended up dying anyway. And it just, it just puts me back. <laughs> It puts me back in front of the toilet. No checkpoint system there. Okay. Oh, so the more I move, actually, the more pain that I have. All right, so let's grab it there. It just kindly floated into my hand right before I, uh, they actually changed it a little bit. So I think in the first game, if you moved around, it didn't really change the amount of pain you were going through. And it was actually a lot easier to grab the hypodermic needle in there, uh, or whatever key or something that was in side of the, uh, yeah, why, why did I say hypodermic needle? Like, you're really gonna search for a needle inside of a toilet bowl of fucking needles. Yeah, good luck with that shit. But whatever is in there, a key, it used to be a lot easier to grab it. You really didn't have to go through anything to get the shit. Uh, so, did I get a nail out of that or a key? I don't remember what I got. I'm gonna go upstairs to that, hold on. I'm gonna go upstairs to that door that needed a nail and see if it says that I have a nail. Yes, I do have a nail. Okay, so that's what I got. Well, let's see what was in there. Uh, I'm sure it's a wonderful surprise. Probably not. 
Okay. Oh man, we locked. Unlocked the secrets. Oh, another jigsaw puzzle piece. Fucking great. It's exactly what I wanted. I should have saved the nail so I could stab myself in the eye with it. Can I go through there? I don't know. Oh, that also that needs a key. So I'm gonna need to go this way to find a key to get in there. And I guess save that guy is gonna be the first guy that I'm gonna have to do a lot of bullshit to save, right? A point to point circuit. Oh God, here we go with this shit. Um, nope, that is not the right way. That is also not correct. It needs to go like that. No, what the fuck are you doing, Mark? Please. Please stop being stupid. And then... Shit. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm having some trouble here. Okay. Not like that. What the fuck is the, the, the puzzle here? I'm having a lot of trouble with this one. Why can't I get it to flow this way? Yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm very confused by the way that that's laid out. I, I'm gonna need some more practice with that shit, because I wasn't following. I was more or less just spamming the A button and hoping for something to work, and luckily it did, eventually. Oh, I've got a broken heart. Am I watching, like, some sad story on TV? What the fuck is this supposed to mean? What the fuck is that? A broken heart and a mixtape? Is that what you're telling me? Some kid tried to give a mixtape to a girl that he liked and then she broke his heart. Oh! Oh god! Oh, this shit! This is another one from the first game, the match game shit. Now this was the hardest puzzle for me to do. And it was saving the guy that was, uh... Strapped to the thing where fucking pipes would shoot through his body if you messed up. Oh, how does this work? Hold on. Okay, so the yellow is... <laughs> the yellow is what I select to walk onto. Um, hold on, let me exit that. Let me look at... Okay, so I'm starting out on this bullshit regardless. Oh man, my EKG's not doing too good. Maybe I should go with the heart because that was on the TV. And then the mixtape was also on the TV. Um, heart again? Yes, uh, so I'm just gonna follow the hearts and the tapes, is what it is. Alright, that wasn't too hard to figure out, luckily I paid way too much attention to that TV thing. When normally I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't know why it really caught my attention, but oh man, look out, my health is dwindling. A handmade lockpick. Ah, uh, I still don't fucking need that bat. I'm not wasting my time with it. What a bunch of nonsense. Uh, like I can't even just hit something just to hit it, which makes me very angry. All right, so this is the only door that I can go through. But what do we got here? An audio tape. Oh God. Do we really have to get this? We have to get lore in the form of audio tapes. And let me guess, I have to sit in this menu and fucking listen to them! Yep, I do. I do. I would have to sit in that menu and fucking listen to them. Fuck you. I don't give a shit. Your lore doesn't matter. Congratulations. Some people die because you're an asshole and you decide to kill them and some people try to find out who you are and you just kill them too. Great. Lore. Fantastic. What the fuck is the combination? Don't tell me it's in that audio tape and I gotta go back to it. God damn it, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh. No, it's not gonna be in this tape, right? No. Uh. Well, if, if you care to read this, guess what? I'm scrolling through it and you can pause. You can pause through this as it goes and read it. Don't complain to me. Oh, okay, so it's gotta do something with the puzzle pieces. Uh. It has to. That gives me the combination. Oh, wait. Can I like... No, I can't look at anything closer. No, there's nothing to look at. Um... You know what? I'm not too sure now. I thought... I mean, it, whenever you see the puzzle pieces, that should give you some sort of clue... to the fucking 
answer that you need, but I'm not sure what this is telling me. It's very obscure. Oh. Uh, I don't know if the clocks have anything to do with it, because they did in the other one that I just forgot about, because everybody decided to tell me about the clocks, so I'm going to pay attention to the clocks this time. But that's... I don't know if, if I should go with the big hand. So, 5, 2, and... Oh, wait. Yeah, there's a puzzle piece there. 5, 2, and 8? I'm not sure. I'll try 5, 2, 8. We'll see if that works. Oh, boy. I love this. So much fun. No, that didn't work. 5, 2, 8 did not work. Um, so maybe those other clocks don't actually matter? I'm, I don't fucking know. Or maybe it's backwards. Maybe it's 8, uh, 8, 2, 5. Yeah, maybe it's 8, 2, 5. Uh, just try every fucking combination of <laughs> 5, 2, and 8. That didn't work either. Oh, God. Fucking kill me. I want to bash my head in. I've got to figure this out at least before I stop. I've got to figure it out. But I... I don't understand why the puzzle pieces are on the door. And what that means to me. But it's gotta be the clocks, right? It's gotta be. At least this one. Maybe it's... Uh... Maybe it's gotta do with what the puzzle piece is pointing at, but that... It's, it's too confusing! Oh god, it hurts my fucking feeble mind. I'm not smart enough for this game, Zombie Studios. How could you? What about the stupid... Oh. Time is on your side. Okay, so it was actually written there. That's great. Um, so let's try the little hand. Maybe? Five, nine, and two. So we've got all except for one of the same number. You know, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe, maybe I should actually go off of the time on this one clock. It being eight... Uh, let's see, I guess that would be 826, right? Right? I don't know. Uh, let's, let's try 826. That worked. That was it. It was the actual time on that one clock. Wonderful. I figured it out. And of course, somebody fucking needs my help behind this stupid door. Oh, oh no, they're gonna kill me is what it is. He's so mad. Ah, oh, do you even know who I am? Oh, I missed. I'm terrible. He's just punching me, hold on. I've gotta, gotta hit my quick time events right. Good lord, I am awful. I might die here, guys. I know I hit that one correctly, please. There we go. Oh, I hate quick time events so much. How did I almost let somebody kill me well we found the key so that's it for me I'm gonna stop playing for now this is gonna be the end of this episode so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later